Hey everybody, this is Steve. I'm with FR Sky, and today we're going to talk about flaps. I'm going to talk about flaps from a very simple perspective. You might want to try this first before getting into the more advanced setups that I found online on YouTube, which talk about things like setting up throttle, I mean, um, setting up custom curves, or possibly using something like a servo tester to check your total range on your outputs, on your flaps. We have something that's pretty mild and it tends to work well for a lot of people. So I'm going to show you how to work with it. Um, what I'm going to do is show you in this particular example how I set up flaps to begin with. This icon right here, if you press on the touch screen, it's the same as touching this one on the transmitter. It's a little button. And you go into here, and we go into Model Select, and you hit the plus button right here. And you set up a basic airplane. So this one has one channel for the motor. This is the Wizard. It works really well. Two channels for ailerons. Flaps, I'm giving it two channels. All right, if I keep going with this, I'm going to show you what I end up. I, I can give it a name and select an image, but let me show you what you end up with. We're going to go into something here called Mixer, and I don't want this to scare you at all. A Mixer is something you've worked with if you've flown RC before. Pretty much most of us fly Mode 2, which means that the throttle's on the left and your aileron and elevator are on the right stick. Um, so, look at it right here. Aileron, elevator on the right stick, throttle, rudder on the left stick, AETR. Um, you're used to this. Now, the only thing we do here is look at the channel output. So this is where you plug in everything. From the back of the plane, channel 1 is your left aileron, and channel 5 is your right aileron. Elevators on channel 2, throttle channel 3, rudder 4. Flaps are on 6 and 7, which means if you count this, you need at least an 8th channel receiver. Um, so something like an SR8 Plus, or even an old X8R from the ACCST days, or a TDR10, a 10 channel receiver from the tandem line, would work fine with this particular setup. Um, everything is great except for one thing, and I'm sure you see it by now. There's no source for flaps, and that's because all these are pretty much predefined. But flaps can be anything. Like the source, what what you use to, to deploy flaps can be a switch, it can be a um, knob, it could be a slider. We're going to set up a switch, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Click on this once. And you click on it again and you go into edit and hold yourself down for it you click on that one time only and i'm going to use switch d so sd and then i'm going to hit this return button to get out of it and if you go back one more time hit the return button you'll see that the source is sd and if you look over here i'm going to hit the sd button and it, oh my gosh, so on the left here, it means that the flaps are fully up. Middle means the flaps are half down. Right means the flaps are fully down. Okay, so we're done. I can end the video here. We'll call it a day. Um, one thing that would make this a little bit better is we can go back in. I'm going to long press this time. It's the same as hitting the edit button. A little bit faster to go that way. And this is the thing that gets a little bit confusing. Slow up means... Up means moving away from the resting surface. So when a flap is up, it is essentially parallel to the, the horizontal stabilizer or the bottom of the wing. Uh, I'm sorry, the bottom of the tail, which is the horizontal stabilizer. When it moves away from that surface, we say that it's going up. Even if it's going down, it's going up. So we call it slow up. And then coming back means it's coming down. So I'm going to switch this value to something like you know, 1.5 seconds. So it's a good amount of time 
hit return button here go down to this next one that means that's how fast they go down and the reason we want to make this a little bit slower is perhaps you're flying a plane that has some really um uh you're, let's say you're coming in for a landing and you want to go to full flaps so what you want to do is you want to make sure that those flaps come down nice and slow so that it doesn't jerk your plane because some of these servos are really strong and they can bring those flaps down extremely fast and you can possibly put your plane in a stall but bringing them up we can make that a little bit faster i'm going to make it maybe something like 0.8 seconds okay hit return and you can go down here you can watch right here you can watch the flaps get deployed so you can see it they're coming going up or flaps dropping nice and slow and here is full flaps very slow but when they come back up towards flaps up, it's moving a lot faster. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My name is Steve. I can be reached at steve at frsky-rc.com. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.